and it's been around for a really long time. But I think uh, you know the advent with this new technology has allowed them to launch big data. Uh, so why don't you talk about your current new offering? Thank you. Uh, my name is Akash Ramstani, run strategy at Ravenpack. I think I've always been at a panel for quantitative data. It's the first time I'm going to talk about unstructured data. We just launched a new product called BigData.com, and like BigData.com, we're positioning it to be a chat GPT for finance, perplexity for finance. We're kind of fascinated by unstructured workflows. Search has been a passion of mine for about 10 years. So uh, the like, basic tenet here is that we're starting to see folks can ask questions to very large archives of data in a way that they've never been able to do before. I'd also point out, thank you, AlphaSense, for paving the way here. I think they showed us that there is a need for better search on financial content, better archives, better tagging, better enrichment. Bigdata.com is designed uh, to help enable a analysts to do the kinds of things that they couldn't do before. Great, thanks. Akarsh, uh, he's had a, a number of seats where he's been the builder and creating things, and, including his current role. So in the context of what is the future of research hold, do you want to talk a little bit about agentic workflows or analyst alpha, or however you think about uh, some of these things? Yeah, um, this is a great, great topic. So I'm a big fan, by the way, of what AlphaSense does. I've been using their platform, at least on the buy side. Um, I think our take is we've run about 100 pilots with 100 different funds. So I'll speak more on the public funds or funds that invest in, in like public markets. I can tell you that where we are in the journey of search being applicable in the hedge fund space, everyone has tried a POC with 20,000 documents. But then they look at their internal archives, and these are hundreds of thousands or millions of documents, and most of these internal POCs are failing. What they really want to do is you, like, you can bucket it into a few things. And I'll start with keyword search is a few keywords. A large language model prompt is like 15 keywords. And then it's like, oh, but I want you to answer like this. Just that itself is like, how do you take a interpretation of somebody, what they are, they are trying to say that, hey, I want you to look here, but I want all these other clauses associated with it. And our thesis is that like, this is where agentic workflows are going to shine, where you can take a person's query, you can decompose it into how an analyst would actually search. You would run hundreds of searches on behalf of the analyst. That's what agents are really good for, right? Read a lot, and large language models are the best compressors of information we've seen. So it can take and succinctly tell you, OK, in order to ask you your question, here is 15 other questions I had to ask. I read everything. I summarized it. And then I gave you a table back with inline citation, very important in the finance space. But then it gives you an answer back. That workflow did not exist even seven months ago. Or it existed in a POC inside your tiny cluster. But that itself, to be able to do that over 20 years of data. And you can say, OK, and another example is, how do I study what happened at a certain period in time? What were the companies that were exposed to it? How did it actually play out? Now there's a new hurricane that happens. Is it still the same insurance companies that are going to get hit? Is it somebody else that's going to get hit? We, like, we get a lot of event-based studies that want you know, an agent to go back in time, read what happened in a prior kind of event, and then come and summarize for you, here's what we found. What do you want to do about this new event that occurred right now? I can continue down that path, but you can see that agents with good search is an entirely new capability that didn't actually exist before. Yeah, I think this idea of searching, and it's a little bit off subject, but finding patterns that maybe humans wouldn't recognize with technology is just an amazing concept. Um, 